Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video will be seen and shared. It's Celine Driver once again coming to you with another unboxing and review of a watch that could be mine. I'll explain. Uh, I did buy this watch. This is a purchased watch. It um, has a 50-50 chance of being my watch or being my father's watch. Um, but it is not sponsored content. This is not a loaned-in watch. This watch will stay in either my collection or my father's collection. Um, I did buy this watch with the intention of giving this watch to my father for Father's Day. Uh, he's seen pictures of the watch, this particular model. He was very intrigued by it uh, and then promptly got distracted by some other watch brand, which um, we won't get into, but um, is his particular favorite brand at the moment. Um, so I thought to myself, uh, this would make an excellent uh Father's Day gift. So, I bought this watch with the intention of giving it to my father uh, this Father's Day being Father's Day 2021. If he likes the watch in the metal as much as he did in the pictures and so on, um, he's going to have the watch. If he doesn't like the watch, uh, I guess I'll keep the watch. Oh, the sacrifices we make. Um, but don't worry, if he doesn't like the watch, I do have a backup gift already in place, just in case. Um, so, win-win for me, win-win for him. If he doesn't like the watch, I know he likes the other gift. If he does like the watch, uh, I would probably give him the other gift anyway. So, uh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. So... Um, I have not sized this watch and obviously I won't size the watch until I find out who's I'm, who I'm sizing it for, whether it's my wrist or my father's and my father's wrist is smaller than mine. So, uh, obviously I will hold off on it. Now we have the typical Zelos sleeve. We have the new style Zelos, uh, narrow box containing the new style Zelos watch folio and inside the watch folio we have the hammerhead generation 3 or version 3 whichever you prefer um, this one is obviously in the uh, sunburst orange which was the a new color for Zelos for this particular uh, launch we tried out a new color um, this was a color I actually suggested that, uh, Zelos do way back when, um, on a different, on, on, on actually a couple of different watch lines. I, I suggested it for the Mako, I suggested it for the Great White, I suggested it for the Swordfish, um, and the Hammerhead. And finally, uh, I was listened to and... Uh, we got an orange on the hammerhead. Um, now, if I end up keeping this watch, I am going to try my damnedest to find a blue bezel insert. Orange, blue, Florida Gators. Some of you will understand that. Many of you won't, but that's okay. Uh, but the black bezel insert with the orange highlights on the first 15 minutes uh, looks pretty damn good, too. Good. Solid bezel action. Obviously, it's a bit stiff because it's a brand new watch, but it's a very positive 120 click bezel. And it lines up. Uh, whoop, one more click. Lines up very nicely. I love the sunburst dial. You can see how it plays in the light. It's a Fume style as well. It fades out into a black around the edge. You have a white minutes track around the outside. The applied indices are very much in the hammerhead watch style. You have a color, uh, you have a, 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 not a color match in this case, but a black 
Uh, well, I guess the color matches the Fume part, <laughs> uh, the faded part, but it does have a date window at the 6 o'clock position. Just a beautiful... I mean, I've always been a big fan of the Hammerhead style of watch. Um, and this follows along uh, with the other two generations. As I said, this was the first generation watch, uh, uh, third generation of the Hammerhead watch. This generation is meant to be a bit smaller, a little less expensive, maybe a little bit less, less quote unquote capable uh, with the water resistance than the previous two generations. But I mean, hey, 300 meter water resistance. What is that? 666 feet deep. I mean, how many of us actually scuba dive with these things anyway? Much less take them down to their maximum depth. I mean, yeah. But it is a little bit smaller. Uh, now, I own watches from both previous generations. I have Generation 1 hammerheads in bronze, steel, and titanium. And I have one Generation 2 hammerhead. My father also has a Generation 2 hammerhead. Um, and I can tell you that these watches, these third generations are a little bit smaller. Not to say they're any less capable, but they are physically a little smaller. Still pretty big watch though. Um, you have the, uh, what I guess you would call that an H, um, link, uh, bracelet. Um, secured by screws, I believe. Oh, those screws are over here. Screw heads, as it should be. You have the newer style uh, Zelos uh, single uh, lock class. Well, the single locking class. You have the double pushers that open up to a very nice, solid milled clasp. Oh, still a little plastic on there I need to peel off. You have the micro adjust uh, that uh, Zelo seems to favor now, uh, which is a really good one where it was a spring loaded adjuster where you pull this little tab in and you can slide the adjustable link to a, I guess, three different positions. You know, there's fully open and then there's there might be some plastic in there. Yeah, there is some plastic in the way, so uh, I'll have to get that out later. But it's three different positions, so it can be adjusted on the fly, which is good for when your wrist expands and contracts during uh, the activities of the day. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to have to hold it closed uh, or hold it on my wrist because, as you can see, lots of room in there for activities. Um, even on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, uh, there's plenty of room for bigger wrists. But on my seven and a quarter inch wrist, you see the watch fits very, very nicely. And down the barrel shot, you see the very short lug overhang hits on my wrist just right. Yeah, I, I had no doubt that this watch would fit me very well. It, it should fit my father as well, too. I mean... He is able to wear a hammerhead three or a 42 millimeter swordfish with not too much trouble. And he's got other watches from his current favorite brand, which I'm not going to name, uh, that are 43 millimeter watches that he uh, really enjoys wearing. Not as thick as this one, but uh, definitely uh, fit him well. Screw down crown. It is a loomed crown, signed crown. Screw down. You unscrew it, it pops very audibly and very positively. Uh, first click allows you to set the date, quick set the date. Second click hacks the movement and allows you to set the time. Push it back in, movement picks up, a couple of quick turns, and the crown is locked in. You have your full water resistance back. Just plenty of Zelos goodness here. I mean, this is a, a very, very nice watch. 
I love the orange. I really do. I, I'm a big fan of orange dials. Uh, I own several. Uh, six at the last count. This would be seven if I end up owning it, which, you know, I'm a 50-50 shot. Um, I wish it had a blue bezel. I'll probably find one at, at some point if the watch becomes mine. And if I find, uh, deem it to be important enough to find one. Oh, uh, the bracelet is a non-quick release, surprisingly. At least I don't think it's a quick release. Hang on, let me open that up. No, not a quick release. So, uh, sorry about that, guys. Lately, uh, Zelos has had quick release bracelets, but this one is not. So, if you are going to change it out for something else, you'll have to... You know, have a tool to uh, to do it. Anyway, I have my sheet of facts here, so I'll give you all the vital statistics. Um, this is the Zelos Hammerhead version three, generation three, third generation, however you want to say it. This is the orange uh, Fume dial. This is number one hundred and fifty-six out of three hundred. Uh, this watch, this particular colorway sold out in the first five minutes of the release of uh, the watches for sale. Um, so it looks like there was a big hankering for an orange Zelos out there. Please take note of that, Elshin. Please do not stop making orange dial watches. Maybe with the blue bezel next time. Maybe. If I have any influence or any kind of thing with that, I'm going to scream that from the hilltops. Uh, the, the bezel insert is ceramic. Some bezels on these uh, HH3s were metal. Uh, this is ceramic. It is a 44 millimeter case, 22 millimeter lug, 48 on the tip to tip. That is helped by the fact that the bracelet drops straight down from the, uh, from the bezel. Uh, bezel from the lug 15.25 millimeters thick you have a double domed sapphire crystal with AR coating on the inside and you can see it is a rather prominent dome uh, there 300 meter water resistance as I said before uh, 316L stainless steel case 316L stainless steel bracelet. L removable links are secured by screws. Um, the movement inside this beauty is the Seiko NH35. Um, you know, double tough movement, very, very solid. Uh, will perform very well, good accuracy. And of course, if it goes wrong, uh, it's easily serviced or probably you just take it to a Seiko, a guy who works on Seikos and say, hey, just throw a new movement in it. Make sure that the uh, you transfer over the uh, date dial and, you know, so, my, so I don't lose the color matching. And it's not to say that Elshin and company don't have a great warranty, but if it's out of warranty and it needs to be dealt with, you, it can be dealt with very easily. You have the Beautiful hammerhead uh, artwork on the screw down case back. And yeah, it's just, you know, like I keep saying, sake, uh, you, you have, uh, you have plenty of Zelos goodness um, in this watch. So. That's all there is to it. I think this will make a great Father's Day gift if my father likes it in the metal as much as he does in the pictures. I'm pretty sure it will, which means that this watch probably is not going to be in my collection. Um, but that's okay. You know, the important thing is to show my appreciation and my love to my father. And if he likes the watch, great. And if he doesn't, well, I know he's going to like the other present because I've given that to him before and he has enjoyed that enthusiastically. 
So uh, I'll be handing this over to him in a few days. And hopefully he'll, uh, he'll like it. Pretty sure he will. What's not to love? Anyway, I hope you found this video to be uh, entertaining, informative, and useful to you. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate it if you click that thumbs up. Clicking the like button, the thumbs up button, whatever you want to call it, uh, does help with the uh, YouTube algorithm, uh, the search algorithm. Uh, the more likes a video gets, the more likely a video will be included in a search. And the more likes a video gets in a search, the more the higher up in that search result that video will be. So it helps bring users to the channel. I'm all about that. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to try and be a nasty little troll, do whatever trolls do, I will just delete the comment and I will block the commenter. Uh, if you're new to the channel, of course, uh, I welcome you. I'm very happy you found my channel. I have plenty of videos for you to watch. Lots of entertainment. Make you laugh. Maybe make you uh, think. Might even make you mad a little bit. Hope not, but sometimes that happens. Anyway, all I ask uh, in return for watching all of these hundreds of videos that I have is that before you leave, you click the subscribe button. And when you do that, please also click the bell icon button. That way, when I upload new content, you will be alerted to that. And when I go live and do a live stream, which I do every Wednesday afternoon at 3 p.m. Eastern time, or whenever time and opportunity avail themselves to me, uh, you will be alerted to that as well. Meanwhile, it is a crazy old world out there. I bid you stay safe, stay well, stay healthy. Be careful. I'll see you soon.